the hottest show, bringing you the hottest artists with the hottest DJ. Your man DJ C beats coast to coast approved. Don't sleep on certified. Face the town. You already know what it is. You're live on Face the Town with your man, Coast to Coast DJ, DJ Sleepy Beast, Mr. Don't Sleep on Him. I'm here with none other than a retired of forever. You already know what it is, man. Let them know who you are. Sport B, Crit, Third Coat, Represent Him. We out here, Kansas City, man. Just did a thing, Session 8. Hey, 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 Nigga tired voice a little goddamn raspy. And Jimmy, we've been working, you know what it is, family. Man, so you know I got a few questions to ask you, man. I know you was influenced by UGK. Yeah. And people always ask you like, well, okay, who's your influence? Why you tell me UGK? But I wanna know what what created that influence? Why was you influenced by UGK? You know what I mean? I mean, on, on the on the strength of being able to go outside and see what they were rapping about, you know, being from the South man and them really kind of rapping about being southern. You know, being country, and I can actually go see Slab. We're talking about Candy Paint and Rim. And just the whole down home man shit, man. I've never been to Port Arthur, but by listening to that music, it's like that Port Arthur must be something like where I'm living at. You know what I'm saying? As far as just the community, just the, the not being lame, man, just the player aspect of everything. And, and then in the music alone, man, there's a lot of blues as far as in the swing of the beats, as far as UGK was rapping on, dog. And I, at the end of the day, man, I was just so, you know, I took to that. Because when I, you know, growing up in my grandma's house, I'm listening to BB King, you know what I'm saying, Muddy Water, Mississippi Man's Choir, things like that. <laughs> so if you, you listening to this crazy organ, you know, Pimp C playing through these beats and shit, man. It just, it just, I, I was drawn to it, you feel me? Drawn to it, I heard that. Speaking of Pimp C, man, I know a lot of people are, I promise you, man, I was standing out in the audience, people was like, man, people didn't even know me. Like, man, he sound like Pimp C, man, he just remind me of Pimp C. Everybody referred you to Pimp C. With me knowing that you like UGK, you influence him, bomb, you know what I'm saying? How does it feel to have that official UGK trap bomb, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, dog. I never would have imagined. And actually, after, you know, when we did the record and it came out and we was just chilling, and my folks like, yo, you understand, you have a song with UGK. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, in official, because that verse nobody's heard, Pimp, you know what I'm saying? But I keep the verse, and I got on it, man, and I just felt blessed to be able to jump on a record with them, dogs. It's real. Real, Especially man. to be on the internet and be able to click on that shit and then boom. Be able to see all the crazy, people, right? It's crazy, man. Man, so with all that being said, with a lot of people that ain't really following the movement don't know that I heard way back when when you was doing beats, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah no doubt. You do all your production, man. Yeah, man. Um, I had to in the beginning because I you know, couldn't afford to pay for them. I didn't and see everybody. Just, <laughs> it was one of thing I picked up and then I, 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 I fell in love with producing just as much as I did rapping on it because as, a, as an artist, to be able to be in the studio, just me and work on a track as long as I want to, is a beautiful thing, dog. And I can make it all cohesive. And if the track don't come out, don't nobody got to hear. If the track don't come out right, don't nobody hear me. With you. You know what I'm saying? Here. Okay, now I know, I know DJ Wally, you know what I'm saying? The Fame Mixtapes. Yeah. Two artists have only been hosted on the Fame Mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Two. You the second one. Yeah, Attitude was on the first one, man. Shout out to Attitude from Alabama, man. Man, I'm yeah, yeah, real lyricist, uh, amazing cat too, man. Y'all be on the lookout for that boy too. So, so how, tell me, how does that feel to be the second one out of all the artists he could have possibly picked? You know what I mean? Man, it's again, that was one of those things where, you know, shout out to Wally Man, because you know, Wally Man really held me down and been supportive of my music since 2005. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just like to, to have good people around you that understand and quality music, timeless music, and to reach out and really kind of put their foot forward to, to compile my songs and put it out on their dime, man. Like, it's, it's, it's a blessing, you feel me? Especially man. in a time where it's, it's so much music going on, man. It's, it's so many other avenues where somebody could make some money, but he just looked out off the strength of the love. Man, so, so coming from a DJ perspective, man, to an artist, how do you feel as far as like being the face of your town? How do you feel about your artist DJ relationship back in your town? Oh, it's all good, man. At the end of the day, like they know I put up, I put out music that, that represents where we're from. Yeah. I rap about places that if you ain't in my hometown, then you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Eighth yeah. Street, 300 block, Red Line. You know what I'm saying? And, and I definitely try my best to. to you know, in a positive manner, reflect where I'm from. Because people have a stereotype about how people are from Mississippi. It's, it's dirt roads, it's horseback. 
it's, it's really not like that at all, man. It's a lot of soul. It's a lot of people getting money. It's a lot of poverty. But people are appreciative of what they have down there. And if you, you take out the time and go down there, you'll see for yourself. Man, you know, man, I definitely appreciate you sitting with me, family. You know what I'm saying? Telling a lot of people, man, on face the town, man, like, man, y'all got to wait for the big come, big crib, man. We're going to get it in. We're going to get it in. People been asking me. Everybody been running through Mystical, Mike Jones. Everybody been doing it asking me. So if you can, man, can you give them a shout to how they can follow you and become a fan of your music, bro? Man, get at me on Twitter at B-I-G-K-R-I-T, Big Crit. Hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash B-I-G-K-R-I-T. And man, the music is out there. Return forever.com, forever spelled for E A. -E. We got the prequel on iTunes, Crypto on iTunes. Get at me. Man, I'm gonna have to get up with him, man. Pretty soon y'all gonna have to hear something. I have exclusive records, something I'm gonna have to work out through my connections with him, man. But y'all gonna hear him big crit. It's official, man. Don't sleep on him. Certified coast to coast approved. DJ CBS in the building, big crit. Y'all know this. Shout out to Big Son, Kid Perry, DJ Wallace Boss. We holding it down. Salute. Face the town.